Hello guys, this is Vikas. Welcome to the sixth video tutorial of Kubernetes deployment using Jenkins CI CD pipeline. So, what let me introduce you what are the things we have done so far. So, we have uh, created and configured all the server, we have installed Jenkins, Sensible, and a Minikube cluster. So, in this project, we are going to a single node cluster. So, in the first uh, project uh, first part of this project we have seen how we can create a commit based job along with that we have in the next video we have seen how we can uh, send how we can log into some other server okay and we, we along with that we have seen like how we can build a docker file so the docker images using docker file and also we have seen how we can send our files to from jenkins to the ansible server okay so most important we have seen like how we can ssh from one server to the second server like docker file we have sent remotely right to the ansible server so from the jenkins server we have logged into the ansible server and then we have executed the docker file so we have built the image we have done the tagging of the image but now today we will see how we can use uh, how we can push the uh, tagged image to the docker hub so make sure as a prerequisite for this lab you have a docker hub account and docker hub login to the server wherever you have installed and building the images so i in my case i am using ansible so ansible is the place where i have built the image using the docker file and i have tagged it right so in today's session we will try to push our docker images to the docker hub so let's just go ahead okay so let me go to the jenkins dashboard here okay so you can have a uh, look right you, what what are the things like where do we stand today so docker image tagging has been done so in today's session we will watch how we can push it to the docker hub so let's just go ahead and let's just create a stage here okay so once this is done let me write stage one more stage here and what is the purpose of this stage the purpose of this stage is to push docker images to docker hub right so where do the images reside right where do the images reside so it is reside in the ansible server right so first you have to ssh to the ansible server here one second okay so my internet got disconnected here okay so now i am on the jenkins dashboard pipeline syntax generator so here you have to search for ssh agent once you will get that you can see this option so if you don't know how to install that please watch my previous video okay so i have already done let's just go ahead and adjust gender the syntax okay so here i do have to log in first to my ansible server once i will log into my ansible server what i have to do i have to a uh, login right so for login what i we will do we will just write the cell script for that let's just go ahead and write the cell for that that is docker login here you have to provide your username what is the username i have so my username is so this is my username and the password is this so is it a correct way to provide your password here right no right so what you have to do just go back to the pipeline syntax generator okay once you came here just search for with credential with credits here you will scroll down you will see okay so this is the one which we are looking for with credential okay so here you have to provide your password of the uh, uh sorry 
uh, docker hub right just click on that and which option you have to choose here secret text right for the password only we are going to do so what from which password do you want to get known right so that is my docker hub password okay copy this name we can make use of that so once you will provide this name you can see here it is asking for the username so you know right which option we have to choose again you just go there secret text and here you have to provide the secret right so just i'm going forward and pasting this please provide your docker hub password here so i have provided just click add once this is added just click on generate pipeline syntax so you will get something like this just copy this go back to your dashboard okay so after ssh you have to paste this line okay now everything you will write that will come under this only right so just copy cut this and here you have to paste that okay so here how you will provide your password so just use this okay and here you will write the variable name this is your variable name that is containing your docker of password okay so i have given along with that see whenever you are using this uh, curly braces right never forget to use the double quotes then only it will work otherwise it will not work right just let me just edit that okay so docker login has been done after that what i have to do i have to push both of the images right so what is the command to do that right so first we have to go to the server right so let's let me go ahead and let me copy one of the code okay let's just go ahead and let's go to the server first okay once i'm at the server this is my code and here i have to write oh see docker image tag right now it will be docker image okay let me delete this full it is confusing okay so docker image push okay which image do you want to push it will ask you so the first image is this right the tagged one with the version which we are maintaining okay just copy paste okay along with that the latest image you have to paste right so again just copy paste the same command okay so once this is done make sure that okay this we have to change right this time we are pushing the latest version of this image okay okay so this is done so it is going to the ansible server in ansible server it is logging to the docker okay we have provided the docker hub username and the password here and after uh, going to the server ssh to the server it is going there and it is trying to okay let me delete this line that is not important so once it is done okay this is also not at all required here okay so this will help you to execute your codes right so it is going to the server it is running this command okay so if it is done then what you have to do you have to log into the ansible right first so let's just let me just go ahead and save it so once i have saved it just go back to the ansible server here let's see if it is up okay let me duplicate this why we are going here because we have to log in right i have told you in the previous video only so you have to log into the docker hub you have to get ready with that so do so so once i'm here how to log in docker docker login simple and here it will ask you the username so this is my username and i'm typing my password that i will not tell you okay so i have given a wrong password <laughs> okay Docker login. This is my username. So login is succeed, right? Okay. Now let's just go ahead and let's just try to build and let's see if any issues there.
ओके सो टॉकर इमेज बिल्ड विल गो ओके सो टॉकर इमेज बिल्ड इज अबाउट टू कंप्लीट हियर ओके सो टैगिंग इज गोइंग ऑन Okay, so it failed. Let's just go ahead and see what is the issue here. Docker login. Okay, so it is getting redirected to the Jenkins itself, right? It is not yet logging into the Ansible servers. Okay, so let me go ahead and let me check the issues, and I will let you know. Okay, so let's do one thing. Let's just copy this such as SSH also and let's just go ahead and let's just test here also. Okay. So once this is done. Okay, now let's just go ahead and let's just try. Now let's click on apply, save and apply. Just click on build now. So let's just go to the out console output and let's see what is the output we are getting. Okay, so it is succeed. Okay, so okay, so okay, so what will be the output? So you can see that login is succeed here. Okay, so you will go to the Docker Hub. Currently, I don't have any repository here. When I will rephrase this, So I should get here the latest image and along with that a version of that image, right? So, okay, so we got it. Just click on that. Okay, so these, these are the images, right? Okay. I have two image uh, with this build number and with this latest, right? And you can see the tag I have given. So build should be 44, right? Just go to Jenkins. Okay, so the build is our 44, okay. So this is for today. Okay, so we have uh, got some error and we have uh, instantly tried to uh, remedy that. So we have also done that. Okay, so if you find my video useful and uh, if you are getting benefited from this, please do a like and consider subscribing if you really find it helpful because your like motivate me to do such things more for you. Okay, so keep watching. Thank you so much.